Someone is some. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh -huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Biname or B. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, turn on your notification bell. So, so you know, know when a new video comes, comes out. Thank you. So we wanted to say thank you to a special group of viewers mm -hmm. that have increased their viewership recently. Mm -hmm. India, thank you. Thank you. You guys <laughs> have been watching and uh -huh. we see you. Thank you for your increased viewership. Uh -huh. You guys are awesome and yeah. we want to honor the fact that you're watching us more. So thank you very much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> This video, as you can read by the title, came from a question we had in our comment section mm -hmm. about, okay, so what do you do when staying away is taken as being uh, spiteful uh, or divisive or uh, unforgiving and more? So that is kind of <laughs> what we wanted to tackle. Uh, we thought it was a very, very good question. Yeah. And thought, yeah. oh, yeah, we definitely should talk about that. So, yeah, that's what you will be seeing in this video. So, it's first important to understand for yourself why have you chosen to distance yourself a little bit. Right. Or a lot if you need to distance yourself <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah, and all I can do or what we can do is just give you our personal experiences. Right. It's worked or it's working for me. <laughs> right. Or for us. But so, I had to distance myself from, believe it or not, the highway. It's, I know it's weird <laughs> to say, but when you are dealing with anxiety, it comes in different forms. In 2017, I believe, 2018, where mm -hmm. we were headed towards into another state and then something happened to my boot thing here and I was just <laughs> devastated. And um, long story short, I was very anxious about returning to the highway. Right. And it took me a little over six months to like come back to my senses. Um, so I didn't drive in the highway during those six months. Uh -huh. um, I know highways don't have emotions, <laughs> but I had emotions tied to the highway. Right. So I, I didn't get on the highway. I did not drive long distances without my family. This situation or event had really like um, did something to my psyche. And when I was able to start going in the highway again it's not that i wasn't afraid or i didn't have anxiety or anxious thoughts i did and it was like in small steps okay so instead of six hours let's drive 45 minutes <laughs> let's drive even like going to visit my family they're like 45 minutes away that was really difficult because i have to get in the highway to go <laughs> see them so we started with 45 minutes mm -hmm. and then it was like okay I'm gonna go visit some people in, you know, Ohio or whatever. I don't right. know. So, you know, another four hours or right. I still had anxiety, but I was able it going through it, I can manage it little by little to now where I can be on the road for a long period of time. So right. sometimes staying away is best for your recovery. Right. I, I have other personal example where I actually do stay away from certain people or not because they're a bad person, but because every time I, I'm with them, the, the, the environment that it creates is really like uneasy for me. Right. Makes me um, anxious. It makes me anxious yeah. and like I want to be able to control my emotions when I'm around people. So I don't want to like pop off or you know, whatever. So I have to maintain my composure and that's hard to do when I'm in this environment because I feel like it just brings the worst out of me. The best way to, to be able to combat that, that idea that you're um, being spiteful is to first understand very strongly, mm -hmm. very assuredly why you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And so once you have that understanding, it's easier to say, well, that's how you know they feel but this is why i'm doing this this is why this is healthy for me right for this season it doesn't mean you'll do it forever, forever. but mm -hmm. understanding why you're doing it is important so another thing we talked about was check your heart uh, if your heart is that you know i don't want to be around these people because i just don't like them um hmm. that's one thing versus you know things have happened in the past that causes me 
that causes tension in my body or my mind. Mm-hmm. I just can't be in that environment. Right. So like when you talk to God about it and um, he shows you that you're fine or you feel a sense of peace, if there's peace in what you're doing, um, and then you have to come to a point of just not caring um, because you know you're right with God and right. you know within yourself this is the right decision for you. Unfortunately, you have to put others opinion of you aside. Like I was telling a friend the other day, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to um, go through a process, but you need to do it. Especially like if you're a mom or something like that, you can't continue to put yourself in a situation that's going to suck you know your energy your mm-hmm. your mind like i go to certain functions and i come out and i need two weeks to recover because <laughs> it was too much like emotionally yeah uh, and i cannot go back there for like a year year and a half i don't stay away because i'm being spiteful right because my it's because my energy has been sucked out of me right. and i can't give anything to my children or my husband if my mind is constantly on the situation so number one is like just be okay with yourself mm-hmm. and god as long as you know that's good then it does not matter right and then number two is you said something interesting when we were talking mm-hmm. about considering um the source of right uh-huh. yeah so there's a good chance that the person who is thinking that you're being spiteful is is probably the person or people that you're distancing yourself from. Yeah. And so there was a reason that you're distancing yourself from them to begin with. Not that they're bad people, but maybe they're making bad choices. Right. Uh, when they're around you and it's hurting you. Mm-hmm. So this, in a way, is kind of a test for you because mm-hmm. you're learning to be comfortable with yourself yeah. and make a choice for yourself and not... Um, and not worry so much about what they're saying anyway. Mm-hmm. So you've chosen to distance yourself from someone and then now you're worried about the fact that they think you're being spiteful. Mm-hmm. This is exactly why you're distancing yourself. <laughs> you, you're, you need to once again distance yourself from that because yeah. you're, it's about your health, your mental health, your emotional health, spiritual, yeah. whatever, whatever way, physical health. It can affect every area. Yeah. So you've chosen to distance yourself, then you have to choose not to let those comments affect you. You know where you're at. You're not doing it to be spiteful. Yeah. That's what matters. And consider the source. Like that person has already done some damage to you when you're around them. So Mm -hmm. you can't let it continue even when you're not around them. Yeah, that's good. It's also important that you not let uh, someone control or manipulate you. Yeah. Uh, If you've made a choice to stay away for a little bit and they sense that and they try to call you spiteful, Mm -hmm. it could be them trying to manipulate you um, back into the way they want you to act. And you can't let that happen either. Um, Don't let that get a hold of your emotions and and twist you and move you in a certain way. Um, Number three would be don't feel like you have to explain yourself. Right. Uh, You don't really, unless someone asks you point blank, but if you're hearing rumors, don't feel like you have to explain yourself. I've heard this quote in a and I just love it. I can't remember who it was by, but um, the guy said something about don't ever explain yourself to people who you know won't understand. Like, Mm -hmm. they're not going to understand because A, they might not want to recognize the damage that they've done. So there's no need to say, oh, I'm distancing myself because you guys have toxic tendencies. (laughs) Uh, Like, there's no need. I I think until you're good and you feel like, I'm at a place where I can, okay, try again. Mm-hmm. Then in your timing, on your time in your time frame, along with the Holy Spirit and God helping you, try again. Right. The point is, um, you're not going, oh, I don't ever want to see you guys again. Right. Right. It's saying like you've crossed boundaries mm-hmm. and now I need to repair myself and re- self-reflect. Mm-hmm. And deal with whatever emotions right. that you guys, you know, initiated or brought up out of me. Right. Now I have to deal with that first before I can um, connect again. So there's nothing wrong with you. And again, number three <laughs> is just like, don't feel like you need to explain 
yourself. Right. This is a, a really important time for some reflection because mm -hmm. you're asking yourself whether these people, this person, this group mm -hmm. is is really worth having in your in life. In your life, yeah. Because if they are so much a detriment to your life and to your well-being mm -hmm. and to the well-being of, you know, even those who are most close, close to you, to you yeah. um, you have to ask yourself, is it worth bringing these people along on my journey? Mm -hmm. You know, if they've proven to you over and over again, they're not capable of empathy. They're not capable of, right. of um, basic kindness. They're growth. That, or yeah. Growth. Like yeah. that there's no humility in moving towards a better relationship. Or yeah. They don't, they don't bring anything at all to your life. You have to step back and consider that. And, yeah. uh, and, and like Biname said, it doesn't mean you would totally shut them out unless mm -hmm. they're extremely dangerous or to you. Or getting physical and then right. you just... Oh. And then, it, then that's it. But you have to at <laughs> least say, what level do I put these people on? Right. Where it, you need to step back. The distance gives you time to reflect and say, where is this relationship in priority in my life? Right. And well, so box, that's what you you're doing. You yeah, where, yeah. where are you going to be? Yeah. What are the boundaries that I need in this relationship? Um, and consider how that relationship moves ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You need some careful introspection and some thought. So. Okay. There's a tendency of like, again, I'll give my example. <laughs> I was praying about a certain thing, how I should respond about a certain thing. Mm -hmm. And I prayed about it and I fought with my, within myself. I was talking with God, like, how do I deal with this? And et cetera, et cetera. So he gave me the answer and I just thought, okay, this is what I'll do. I'm at peace with that. I don't really want to do it. <laughs> okay. I'm willing to do this thing right. and this is all I'm willing to do. Yeah. So after struggling for like a week, two weeks about it, I got my answer and I was at peace. Okay. And then all of a sudden <laughs> someone else comes in and starts like, well, what about this? What about this? What about this? Right. And then it rattled me up and I started questioning myself. Right. Like, After oh, you had that, already decided. Right. Was that a good uh, decision? I probably shouldn't have done that. Wait a minute. You already talked to right. God about this. Right. It's enough for people. You need to respect people. I respect. Because <laughs> right. hey. Right. Ah. Just so, because they didn't have peace in their situation right. doesn't mean you, you bring have it to, on to me now. To, yeah, that you have to be in that same place of lack yes, of peace. Yes, respect yeah. people's responses to you, especially yeah. if they're not being angry or mean. Right. You have to give people their, like, I don't know, their rights that God has given them, which is you have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Good or bad. Yeah. He gave that. To you. Yeah. So if you choose not to do anything, you don't need X, Y, and Z to come da 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 da. Because if it was a bad choice, God will talk to you. But but right. if you've already brought the matter to God and you've been speaking to him and, and your ears are open and your eyes are open to what possibly, Sorry. you know, what other ways God could tell you mm -hmm. that maybe that was, a you know, not the best choice. Um, then don't worry about what, you know, Nancy or Bob is bringing to you <laughs> to, try and and <laughs> <laughs> to try and get you off course. Mm -hmm. um, so that was one other yeah. thing I wanted to add to that, to this talk. Yeah. I think probably this person is a bit like me in that they're always trying to be a people pleaser and maybe they're <laughs> geared a little bit that way and so it's harder for us but it's a good exercise for people like us who who want to make everyone happy we have to at some point understand we won't we just won't but i'm a people pleaser too i think that's why i've grown weary because yeah. i always want to make sure you know, everyone's happy, everyone's happy or yeah. everyone speaks well of me. Yeah. Well, that's weary. I, I, it's none of my business what right. your thoughts of are of me. It's none of my right. concern right. at all. And I don't, I mean, I don't know why I allow it to be. Right. That's something I, I wish I, I could like get out of me. Like over the years I look and I'm like, man, I just wish I didn't care so much. I think you know? once that situation happened on the road, it got me to that point of I don't care. That's well, that's good. Mental right. health. You're trying so well hard yeah. to be liked and cared about by everyone. And then when you needed them, nobody no one was, was there. there. I mean, nobody no one. Nobody was there. <laughs> Zero. 
And the, so, the man that is constantly there for me couldn't be there because right. he wasn't, he needed the help. Yeah. And so yeah. that woke me up like, been a man. Don't hold yourself back, girl. Get up. Get up. You got to get this thing going. So, yeah. yeah, with obviously with the Lord's help and, you know, years and years of like, okay, I'm going to try this. Now mm -hmm. I'm going to try that. I've been able to come out of it pretty good. Right. But it was a dark time. Yeah. And not having people around made me realize I don't care about others opinion anymore. Yeah. Not as much as, as yeah. it did because it, it, it was to the point where it crippled me. Like, I didn't want to try because I was nervous. What would mm. someone think? Right. That's why one of the reasons why YouTube was born, because it's like, I'm just going to put myself up there. Yeah, it was a good um, thing. And see what happens. I have always known there was something between me and television or just <laughs> being on screen. On yeah. screen. I don't yeah. know what it is, yeah. but I'm going to put myself out there. Yeah. I don't care who is laughing behind mm -hmm. the screen. God has got the plans for my life. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> And it turns out people love you. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I, I'm, I'm no longer easily offended by right. someone's comment. Yeah, like their opinion of you. Hey, yeah. please, you don't know me. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> it took a, a serious event to get me to wake up to don't care so much as right. long as you're performing for the audience of one. Yeah. And he is pleased. Right. Hey, who yeah. cares? You're if you're good with God. Yeah. You know where you're at. Yeah. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. And so be be content in that. And and you know those relationships, they're there. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy the ones you can. And yeah. And yeah, don't isolate yourself from people, but no. take the time you need yeah. to stop and reflect. And if you need to push back just a little for your own sake and for the sake mm -hmm. of your future mm -hmm. and your immediate family or whatever it may be, do it. Don't allow other people to make you feel bad about what you need. Right. In, in terms of like just time to step right. away. The, the more you do it, you start actually teaching them that, oh, they'll be back. They're just stepping away because right. whatever happened was too much for them to process mm -hmm. and they'll come back. Tell bearers will always be tell bearers until they're unless they repent and, and turn from what they're doing. Your reputation, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to become okay with it being reputation. I also read a quote once, I think it was on Instagram, that say, Whatever you heard about me is true, add your own stuff to it. <laughs> like just I don't care for defending right. myself anymore. Right. Like just it's true. Add add your right. own to it. <laughs> yeah. We're flawed, so yes. <laughs> we, we don't need to hold ourselves in too high a regard. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, we just wanted to address that. We thought it was a very interesting topic. Yeah. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up.